Hi, I'm Declan. I'm from First Fires Green Scouts in Durham, and this is my 60 second scour. Three, two, one. What got you into scouting? Oh, good question. Um, so our family hasn't really had much background of scouting, um, but I think what what I saw was I went down Remembrance Day and I saw all the scouts going, and I said, "Mom, I really want to do that." Um, so I went for a taste today and absolutely loved it. Like there's there's no family like scouting. Um, so yeah, give it a shot, and then here we are, eighteen years later. So, what's the best adventurous activity that you do? Oh, so at our group we have a very adventurous group scout leader. Um, but the most adventurous one I've been on at the moment is definitely Weasling. Not many people heard of it. Um, it's basically like caving, but overground. Um, so if you like worm your way through little gaps, getting all muddy, it's absolutely fantastic. How has scouting changed from you being a cup to being a leader? Oh, responsibility is the big word. <laughs> um, but apart from that, not really much because I'm quite a new leader. So I have seen it grow. I've seen it um, our group grow massively. But apart from that, not much has changed. And it's quite relatable to how I was as a cub. It was like, oh, I remember that. Why did you become a leader? I just wanted to give something back, if I'm rightly honest. I've always been that person who likes to contrib contribute to the local community. He used to volunteer in a charity shop, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I've always wanted to give something back to what I gained from it. So about, what, maybe it's five years after I left, got on, got on the phone to Leslie. Yeah, I'm doing my DV at the moment. Um, got any opportunities available for volunteering? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have you back. Yeah, it was only meant to be six months, but uh, two years later, yeah. <laughs> what is the best skill you've learned as a young person in scouting? Best skill is probably is collaboration. Um, working with young people and getting ideas from them of what they want to do just makes the night's floor 10 times better. Um, so let's say... We host forums like once every month where we can, um, or at least once every term. And we get an idea of like what where they want to go on camps and stuff like that. And we've had ideas from going all the way down to London, all the way up to Scotland and everything in between. Um, so we, we do get some pretty wild ideas, but as a leader, I like to put them together. What are your favourite things about D of E? Definitely not the walking side of it. <laughs> huh? No, obviously I am quite an outdoorsy person, love it. Um, so I do love the walking side, but... I think the best thing has to be the volunteering, without shadow of a doubt. Like, that might be me being biased a bit towards my group and stuff, but you know what? I absolutely love it. Like, I can truly get away from what I'll, whatever I'm doing and I can just, like, let myself go a bit and have a bit of a wild time because that's what I'm like as a leader. Favourite campfire song? Oh, um, the zombie song. Definitely the zombie song. Favourite thing to do in your spare time? Favourite thing to do in spare time has to be climbing. 100% without the shadow of a doubt. Um, I think it's just the thrill of getting to the top of like a 25 metre wall and looking down and thinking, whoa, A, that's high, and B, how have I done that? <laughs> um, but you know what? I go with my mates all the time and it's absolutely brilliant. It's like my little escape type thing. Like, not really much of an escape because, like, I like to say I'm a thrill seeker. I like the adrenaline rush and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it doing this better time. What are the differences between I know you're in cadets and mm -hmm. scouting? Right, so cadet, um, I'm what's called a senior non-commissioned officer. So there's a bit more, what's the word? A bit more authority involved, um, a lot more shouting. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, but there's really not much difference. They're both youth organisations. So you have them into transferable skills um, of like people, like being a, what's the word? Like being a good communicator. Um, but being a good communicator is also listening, listening to your people. Um, like I said about the forums with scouts, I also like to get ideas from what the cadets want to do as well. Because so we have them from ages twelve all the way up to eighteen. Um, so I'm on that cusp now of becoming a staff member as well. So yeah, so it's it's all like it, it all links together, which is what I like about my life. <laughs> Very busy <laughs> life, but it all links together. What is your favourite memory of scouting? Oh, has to be I think Confido, um, which it's. So basically, it's a county camp um, held every year over in Durham. Um, and that was one of my first camps as a scout. So it's got some meaning to me. Um, I remember it being like the carnival one. It's always that like first excitement when you get to the camp. You can feel the buzz and the atmosphere. And you get to go like wake up in the morning, all the activities. Like, by the end of it, you just flat out on your bed. 
Um, but yeah, favourite memory has to be Confide or County Camp. Yeah, absolutely loving it. What's the best knot you know? The best knot I know, Alpine Butterfly. Has to be. It's I haven't found a use for it yet. Fair enough. But it's the coolest looking one. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, it's brilliant. I love it. And finally, <laughs> one word to describe scouting. One word to describe it. Adventurous. 100%. If you're not adventurous, you won't like it. But you know what? Give things a go. It's absolutely amazing. Adventurous.